Okay, I think we're ready to shoot, John. Uh, good afternoon. My name's Hank Mosher. I'm, an, I'm a therapist up in Saginaw, Michigan. I've got the pleasure of visiting with both my sisters and my brother-in-law, John, um, up here at Long Lake in Traverse City. Um, what I'm here talking to you about right now is a uh, fancy little unit. Uh, if you've not seen it on the internet before, but you must be uh, interested in uh, caring for either yours or a loved one's ill knee. Uh, sorry, I'll sp speak up. Thank you. Um, that uh, they're having troubles with the knees, maybe looking at surgery, be it a replacement or a scope. This little bionic care unit, uh, it's, a, it's a little like electric unit that had gone through the national studies for 12 to 17 years and um, it's been finally approved by FDA and Medicare. Uh, they're still working the bugs out on uh, getting payment. Long story short, I'm here to talk to you about my particular routine for putting this unit on. Uh, I have problems with the usual way to put it on, the gels for the electrodes, cause skin irritation. I'm one of the 10% 10, 10 that had trouble. I, long story short, I ended up putting on the unit with strictly just water. But uh, I came up with my own method, so the water method can last for even up to 13 hours. Um, with maintaining good amplitude of the electric, electric pulse that this unit is generating. Um, if you've not seen it before, what you have is two electrodes, this gray one being the one that goes over the knee as such, and then there's a red and black one that goes over the thigh. Uh, what Bionicare has is their unit that uh, is set up like this, so that when, I, when you would apply it with this, it would, it would hold the unit in place like that. I cannot use that unit. This is how I do it. The electrodes, these stockings. These are stockings off of very old hiking socks that I had. Doesn't have to be gray, could be white, could be red. Uh, cotton is the better. You notice I have the, not the terry cloth side, but just the uh, flat side out. Now the terry cloth side out, too much impulse of the electric. With these, before I go immersing those in water, I would take the cream. This particular cream happens to be Burt's Bees, which I'm sure you've had in your store somewhere nearby. And I just put it on my knee like so. If you want to put some on your thigh, beautiful. My preference is this Bottom Butter by Palmer's. It's, as you can tell, it's for infant uh, care during diaper change. This is, this is my preference of the lotions. Aloe vera does not do me well. I get irritation with those too. What I would do is I take the gray pad, place it on my knee like so. Oh, and of course I would dip it in water. I wring it out. I place it on my knee. You always make sure that, like here's the right leg, the, the uh, flip, is up on the outside like that, okay? Just like so. The thigh, pretend I dipped it in the water. I would again place it like so. Here's that clip, okay? The spacing, it's, I came up with that determination by how they landed on that unit from Bionicare. Now, this is where it works well for me. I can take a piece of plastic. This happens to be a baggie that I basically slit and opened up so it's nice and large. I place it on there like so. I take an ace wrap starting at the bottom section below the knee. I do a light wrap. Oh by the way, one thing I did not explain with this excess wire, I'm going to stick that right here, I would I would take that wire and run it up underneath the underwear, or this happens to be a pair of swim trunks. I'll show you that later. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up, keeping that plastic down. I'm not used to working it in the wind, like so. To end off that a strap, of course, you've got the ones with the Velcro ends. You've got those little metal clips. This is all I do. Now to hold this in place. That's well covered with that plastic. That keeps that water tight. I take my stocking. This is a high-grade 30 to 40 millimeter 
compression stocking. Yes, I have had the misfortune that I've used these in the past. Thankfully, I've lost about 50 pounds since I had to wear these things, but I still have them in hand. I pull that up like so. That holds those electrodes in place. To keep this stocking from rolling down, I take a second ace wrap. This is the one I usually do that initial wrap with. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to wrap this around. This affords me uh, keeping that top of the sock from rolling down. Then I will take that and that holds that in place. And this is what I was talking about with this wire. Earlier, um, I would have taken the wire and run it underneath the underwear, or in this case, my swim trunks. Come on. And pull it out like so. Like that. Now, with your Bionicare unit, for particular reasons, I came up with this using this soap dish. I'll try to explain that later if I have time. I turn the unit on. This is your on button there. Okay, and I can tell how much battery life I have left. This is a full battery. I can tell how long I've been using it, how many hours I've put into it. 3,000, 2 hours, and 16 minutes. Um, that's over the span. I started using this back in 2000, like the end of 2003. So no, I haven't used it all the time. Uh, I've had very good episodes of uh, not using this for a year with very good results. And then if the knee starts bothering me, I'll start using it again. Now, to increase the amplitude, it goes from zero as it is, and do a double push, hold it, and as you can tell it's going through the numbers. Right now I just started feeling the electric, and I can go all the way up to 12. The company indicates that at about 8 is where most people would be. For me, I started feeling it at around 5. I will kick it down to about, uh, today, 4.5. Uh, a young lady by the name of Tara Menser, uh, who had been a representative of Bionicare, indicated to me that uh, even down to two, even down into the one region is fine when you're using the Bionicare, just that you're having that electric field over the knee to help uh, promote uh, tissue um, healing. And uh, it's once you reach the number two that the unit will start uh, quantifying or adding up its time. Uh, hours of time that you use the unit. Uh, I have, with this particular method that I'm using, being normally without having that sheet of plastic and holding it in place, I was lucky to get two or three hours uh, with this water method. And once I came up with this idea of laying that sheet of plastic on there um, and then holding it in place with what I use here, the compression stocking, I can go for 13 hours. I, and I may have to change the battery. When I change that battery, it still has very good impulse. Um, and this is basically, as this is a 9-volt battery, uh, it is not a standard 9-volt battery. It is a very specialized high uh, uh, low-drain battery. And um, John, I think that's it for now. Uh, I am not against knee surgeries, not at all. John, who's taking this picture for me, had his hip replaced, doing well. My sister, uh, uh, his wife, had her knee replaced five years ago and says it's the best thing she ever had done. Um, so each to their own. My main concern is for myself with the uh, difficulty I have with circulation in my legs. I've had uh, different cellulitis, uh, systemic in infections of my knee at times, in my legs at times. Uh, an infected knee, uh, a prosthetic knee when it gets infected, it's not a pretty sight. It's difficult to work with. I've got the pleasure of working with some phenomenal orthopedic surgeons. And if you do get your knee replaced, beautiful. Arthroway.com. That is the site that you would go to if you wanted to read more of this unit. Also look up Bionicare uh, in UD.